this topic and why well do you want to know why yeah why yes, yes it's clearly written in power purchase agreement between us and our one and only client which is sesco in clause 5 that we have to provide this system at all times but after years of monitoring the power plant we have found out that we do not need this we system. don't need we don't need this system at all <coughs> so without further ado i'm going to proceed with my presentation so what is sync on board normally we use water as the main element for generating the power from hydro power plant okay. isn't it yeah, yeah. but in sync on mode but but in sync on mode we use air as the main element huh yes so we can use air to produce the mega bar which is used to control the reactive system for the grid system mhm mm okay. and in sync on mode the generator will act as motor which is a different um will act as <laughs> will act as motor okay but it means and then apart from that the unit can also provide the spinning reserve power for the grid system so that is the importance of system. having sequon mode <laughs> in the grid system okay and not also that we can also change as fast as we can mm. from the sequon mode to generator mode and vice versa and last but not least the importance of having sequon mode is to control the voltage for the grid system so synchronous mode um before that before i proceed i'm going to refer synchronous condenser mode uh as sync on mode so that will be easier for me uh to deliver to the message yes to deliver the message oh, throughout to my pronounce. presentation and <laughs> so that it will be easier for you to ask any question if there's any right okay okay you can stop me whenever you want to ask question ah right good okay um in synchronous condenser mode or sync on mode we have all the response speed. We have all the response we have speed. All of the response speed and controllability advantages of generators. In other words, that this synchron mode is as same as the same as the generator mode that we have right now when we generating power to the grid system. And also, it may require more maintenance than the static alternative because it consists of lots of auxiliary systems for example there's a valve and also compressors not only that also not tanks. only that not only that and also tanks mm. and it normally consume real power to about 3% of the machine's reactive power rating which is not good for the system which is not good which is not good for the for the system so I'm going to talk about Sarawak grid system in overall. We have a different type of power plants in Sarawak grid system. We have hydro units and others. We have Batangai, which is located in Sri Aman. Bakun, which is our dam. And the third one is Moro, which is very uh, is our neighbor, which is not far from us. And this is a hydro unit, which is the synchron mode can be operated. It's only applicable in hydro units. So the others um, generations from Sarawak grid system is Tanjung Piduro, which is gas turbine in Bintulu, Sejingkat, a coal-fired power plant in Kuching, Sungai Bawa, a combination of diesel power and also gas turbine, Pujut, a gas turbine power plant in Miri, and last but not least, a coal, another coal-fired power plant, which is Muka, located in Muka. So the total of the generation that I have mentioned earlier on is, which is the current lot capacity in Sarawak is 4,583 megawatt. Mm. That's a, a, a huge number, right? 
a big number of Koreans. Am I right? Yes. yes. And there's additional lot capacity which is still in progress. And the projected lot capacity for this additional uh, capacity is 1,285 megawatt, which is located in Bali, another hydro units. So, uh, the genset running schedule. What is it is in, what it's mean by genset running schedule is the demand from the grid system every day is the highest. It is is 2,800 mm -hmm. zero. <laughs> 7 megawatt and the lowest demand from the grid system is 2478 megawatt mm -hmm. so we of course we have excess of lot generated in the grid system okay this is the speed this is